Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Wednesday, December 6th. Thank you again for taking time out of your schedule to join together with other people of like precious faith and praying one with another. I pray these times are an inspiration to get you going in your prayer life. Prayer isn't always easy because the devil fights prayer. Amen. All right, so our Bible reading today is 1 John chapter 5. We'll be wrapping up 1 John today. <clears throat> A couple great verses here. How about verse 4 and 5? For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he that overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? That's us, church family. Hallelujah! We overcome the world because of Jesus, not in our own strength, but because we identify with him. We are one with him. Amen. All right, our prayer focus today is the media, and then our state that we're praying for is Nevada. Nevada, <clears throat> and our nation that we're praying for is Costa Rica. Again, I will lift up the other things as we go along. All set? Let's go ahead and pray. <clears throat> Father, we do praise you and honor you on this new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be very, very glad in it. We give you the praise and the honor that's due your name. There is none like you. You are holy. You are righteous. You are just. It's because of you that we have some stability in this world, Lord, because without you, if the devil's would, would just uh, tear this world apart. But because of your grace and calling us to be the light of the world, calling us to be the salt of the earth, working in you, oneness with, with you, we hold down darkness until, we, it's, until the day of the Lord's return. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, as I keep reading in your word, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for what he has done. Thank you, Lord, for the stars above, the sun, the moon, how they stay in perfect order to give life to this planet, to give life to us. Thank you for your beautiful creation of the trees and the animal kingdom, the birds in the air, the fish in the water, those that, that walk upon the earth. You have given each their part, Lord, and you have called us man, mankind, to have dominion over them. Blows me away what you have placed within man, but this is yours, Lord, so we just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for our health today, our well-being Thank you, Lord, for our families, our lives, our homes, houses that we live in, Lord, cars that we drive, and so many other toys, probably too many toys in this life. Thank you for the food, the air we breathe, and on and on, Lord. Just thank you today as we start off our time of prayer to never forget to give you thanks. Church family prayer warriors, just give them thanks. Thank them for the little things. Thank him for the big things. He is faithful. He is just. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, as we begin our prayer time today, I lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week, Lord. Many people have many needs, Lord. Lord, I got problems. Others have problems. Everyone's got something that they go through. But you are faithful, Lord. And we know this life is but a vapor. And the suffering of this life is is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. But we also know, Lord, that you've come, that we might have life and that more abundantly, that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony and not loving our lives to death, that we are world overcomers through Jesus Christ, that greater is he that's in us than he that, that's in the world. We overcome the things of this world because of Jesus. So we believe for healing. We believe for miracles. We believe for peace. We believe what your word says, for your word does not return void, but it accomplishes that which it's sent for to do. And we thank you for all of this. So I pray for these precious brothers and sisters, for their families, for their loved ones, for situations 
that they're going through. And I thank you that our God supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We lift up the play as we get closer and closer as the teams are working on it and all that's going on, Lord. And we just thank you again, Father, for lives being touched, Lord, that the excellence of our Jesus can be broadcast in this wonderful life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we lift up our world before you. We pray for the nation of Costa Rica today, and we just thank you for a touch upon them, Lord, and the work that's being done there. We pray, Father, for Israel today, Lord, and we pray for its protection. So many of its soldiers, I get reports every day. The other day, three soldiers were killed, many wounded, harmed the other day, Lord, and it just goes on and on. We pray that this war could come to an end. Hamas has dug in deep. Oh, I can't believe how many tunnels they have there, how many shafts, how many ways. They say it's more tunnels than what's in London in their subway system. So we pray that the IDF can find them. They're going to flood them with water. They, but they want to destroy them. Yeah, they want to flush out the evil people, but they want to also destroy these tunnels, Lord that they can't be used again. So we pray, Father, for, for the people of Israel during this time of war. Many have had to live in different areas and protection for them. Many uh, groups are trying to help them also. But most importantly, we pray that the scales would come off their eyes and their hearts will be open. I thank the Jewish people for giving us the Bible. I thank God that God used them to bring me my Savior. But we pray for their salvation. We pray that they would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We lift up our world before you, Father, from the east to the west, Lord. Actually, uh, yeah, from the east to the west. And we pray, Father, for nations today, Lord. We pray for nations. I lift up... <clears throat> Guyana, Suriname, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, Bolivia, Chile, Lord. We see Brazil with over 24% evangelical Christians, and we see Ecuador with 10%, Lord. So we pray over the nations of the world, and we thank you. Thank you for this. We lift up our United States of America. We pray for Nevada, Lord. We pray that the scales would come off of people's eyes in Nevada, Sin City, Las Vegas, Lord. We pray over that. But we see 20% evangelical Christians in Nevada. Lord, help the people of Nevada. Lord, help us in America. Again, this generation of Christians is responsible for this generation of souls on the earth. So we pray for the lost in our country, Lord. We pray for them in Jesus' name. We pray that the scales will come off their eyes and their hearts would be open. Open the eyes of our president, vice president, secretary of state, secretary of defense, the cabinet, legislative branch, Johnson, Schumer, Lord, congressmen and women, uh, senators, Lord, judges, mayors, governors. We pray for them. We bind up the ungodly ones, we slow them down. We pray for their salvation today. And Lord, we pray for the godly that you would continue to strengthen them. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. We lift up different organizations. We start with our very own Lord of Christian Faith Fellowship Church. And we just pray that you would continue to use us to do whatever you want us to do. We are blessed to be a blessing, Lord. And thank you for that, Father. I pray for every member, attender, and guest, for the hearts to be open to you, that they'll become more on fire for you in this busy, busy time, this acceleration of time that we are seeing right now. We pray for the protection upon those that will be driving and going forth even this day, Lord. We lift up tonight's service online, Lord. We pray that your word will go forth in power. Lord, we lift up Christ for all nations, Christ for the nations, Christ to the world ministry, Christian and Missionary Alliance, Christian Broadcasting Network, CBN, Christian Educators Associate, Christian Health Services Corps, Lord, and we pray for them in Jesus' name, and we thank you, Father, for these needs being met. 
Now, Lord, I thank you for these precious ones that are here with me today. Your blessing upon them as we take these 10 minutes to pray together. Lord, we have grown in our prayer time. I have not seen the views go down as we went a little longer, Lord. I thank you for that. I thank you that we have people that are hungry for you, Lord. You said one would put a thousand on the flight to 10,000. You said two of you agree on earth concerning anything it shall be done. I pray for them, their household, your protection, your kindness, your goodness, and your love. Now as we wrap up, we thank you again that Jesus, he is Lord, for your blessings, your goodness, your grace, your mercy. They are new every morning. When we blow it yesterday, we start fresh today. Oh, how good you are. We love you, sir. We honor you and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Be a person after God's own heart. Amen. Love him. He loves people. God bless.